welcome to the summary of Episode 10, Motivations. March 30th, 2018. In Titan's Tower at night, Cyborg is sneaking through the quiet headquarters and leaving a note in the kitchen. As he's about to leave, he spots Wonder Girl and Kid Flash in the living room chatting away. Before he can duck away, they see him and ask where he's going. With a quick trip to the kitchen, Bart reads Vic's note which says that he's going to confront Deathstroke for killing his father. They urge him to be patient, but Vic says he's tired of waiting. He adds that he's determined Deathstroke's probable coordinates. The other two refuse to let him go alone and insist on accompanying him. March 31st, 2018. Early the next morning, Beast Boy is the first one awake and goes to the kitchen. He sees Vic's note and runs to tell the others. Opening credits. The three arrive in Hawaii to the coordinates where Cyborg has tracked Deathstroke. After scouting the Big Island, Kid Flash leads them to Deathstroke's location where they engage him in combat. By taking advantage of their comparative inexperience, Deathstroke is able to counter their attack and capture Cyborg. As some of the most experienced fighters and trackers, Arsenal, Nightwing, and Aqualad decide to track their teammates. Lilith shares that she has gotten a vision of Hawaii, so they head there. In Gotham City, Artemis is packing some of her things to move to the tower, while Red Arrow repeats that he doesn't understand why she needs to move. She says that it's important to bond with this new team, and that she'll only be living there part-time. He says that he and Leon will miss her, even part-time, and they kiss. Artemis's mother enters the room unexpectedly. They try to cover, but she is pleased that they are a couple, adding that Red is already like a son to her. In their room, Starfire and Raven are sharing their concerns over their missing teammates. Corey has confidence in Vic's judgment, but Raven says that a desire for revenge can unbalance anyone. Corey leaves for the roof to soak in solar energy. As soon as she exits the room, Raven turns into her demonic self and manifests the Dark Bird. The bird surrounds her and she vanishes. Deathstroke tells the captive cyborg that he allowed him to discover his coordinates and that he doesn't understand the situation that led to his father's murder. Cyborg threatens Deathstroke's life. Deathstroke replies that when Cyborg is ready to discover answers rather than exact vengeance, he will be waiting. With that enigmatic statement, he leaves. April 1st, 2018. The three arrive in Hawaii to the coordinates where Deathstroke was last seen. A woman steps out to meet them, identifying herself as Sensation. At Wayne Manor, Alfred is helping Tim pack his things for his move to the tower. Alfred wishes he would reconsider, but understands why he wants to leave. Batman enters and asserts that he is Tim's legal guardian, but he won't stand in the way of him moving out. He adds that Tim is more mature than either Dick or Jason was at his age. Tim expresses his gratitude to Bruce, but says that his vote with the League not only destroyed the team, but damaged his relationship with him, Dick, and Barbara. Bruce says that Tim doesn't know how he voted. Tim hugs Alfred goodbye and leaves. Sometime later, Wonder Girl and Kid Flash rescue Cyborg, apologizing for how long it took. Vic counters that he owes them an apology for rushing into something, angry and unprepared, and putting them at risk. As the three demand to see Deathstroke, Sensation uses her sparkling powers to remove Roy's sight, Calder's hearing, and Dick's ability to speak. Amused at their distress, Sensation leaves. In Russia, Raven appears at the site of the portal. Glowing eyes are visible. Raven calls on Trigon to appear. The Dark Bird expands the edges of the portal as a being approaches. Darkseid steps through the portal and recognizes Raven as the one who banished him. He fires his Omega Beams at her with no effect. Raven gestures in his direction, and Darkseid is launched into the air backwards. She smiles as he disappears in the horizon. The three heroes, each missing one of their senses, struggle to piece together what's happening. By patiently working together, they are able to fly back to the tower. Trigon's voice is heard through the portal, announcing that he will soon be joining his daughter. At the word daughter, Raven transforms back to her normal self. She is immediately aware that she has freed Darkseid, and uses the Dark Bird to close the portal before Trigon can escape. On the flight back, their senses start to return. Relieved that the effects of Sensation's powers were temporary, they acknowledge their overconfidence and vulnerability, but applaud their ability to work together in a crisis. Miles away from the portal, Darkseid is still hurtling through the sky. He is eventually able to gain control and stabilize his flight, seething with anger. In the closer, Raven returns to her room through the Dark Bird, horrified by what she's unleashed, and uncertain what to do about it. So just a few comments on the 10th episode. Deathstroke has been one of DC's most popular villains for decades, and this episode is evidence of that. When Cyborg pursues him in retaliation for his father's death, Deathstroke easily trounces three heavily powered heroes. 
Interestingly, he tells Cyborg that he will get answers to his questions when vengeance is not his motivation. In another example of overconfident heroes getting owned by a calm adversary, I brought in an obscure Titans villain called Godiva, renamed as Sensation, and with the senses stealing power of the even more obscure Dial H for Hero enemy, Senses Taker. This cute trick gives us a variation on the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil trope that the heroes are humbled into solving. Shortly after unleashing her dark bird on the rest of the Titans, Raven flips again to her demonic persona and teleports to the portal in Russia, drawn by Trigon. Unfortunately, she lets out Darkseid, who is shockingly weak by comparison. For those who weren't aware, we are now explicitly told that the demon inside the portal is Raven's father. Even though Raven regains her good self before releasing Trigon, that's obviously not the end of it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and look for many more episodes to come. Take care.